right, here we are, Mars Radio, and we're getting to sit down with Jay Spoo today. Jay Spoo is an R&B singer out of Stockton, California. Jay Spoo, let the people know a little bit about yourself, what kind of music it is you do, and why you do what you do. Well, first, thank you. Appreciate you for having me. Um, yeah, man, I'm an R&B singer, and, uh, you know, I do... Like, a lot of my stuff probably don't sound like most people's stuff. I put a little more soul into my R&B, but uh, it's definitely edgy, you know? So I feel like it's one of a kind. So uh, I do a lot of baby makers to club hits to... As of lately, I've been doing stuff more driven for the fellas, too. You know, you got a lot of girls, girl power songs, you know what I'm saying? The fellas, we need our stuff, too. So I've been kind of doing stuff like that, too. So would you say that your sound... Is more of a 90s type sound? Um, or you think you're more modern, like today's sound? Uh, I w- uh, <laughs> that's a good question. But no, I would say I'm, I'm more uh, like, I feel like I'm kind of like, my R&B is kind of, it's kind of just sitting on its own, in its own lane, in its own world. Like it's kind of futuristic, but with hints of like that 90s. And I feel like today, I would say it's modern too, because I feel like my R&B can for sure slap just as hard as the next main big name or whatever. You know, I feel like I'm for sure current with my music, but the sound itself definitely has that 90s. And I say it's futuristic because people haven't really got a chance to tweak on my stuff, but I feel it should be tweaked on. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So since we're on the music right here, let's just keep it here for a moment. And what would you say your strengths are as far as being an R&B artist? Um... When it comes to R&B, you don't have to worry about anything. Like, it's, if you need it written, I'm going to do that. If you need the harmonies, I could do that. The highs, the lows, you want the sauce, you want it just straight up, sharp, whatever you want. I feel like when you come to Stoozy, man, like, like you come into the all in, the all in one shop, basically. So when it comes to R&B, you don't have to stress. You know what I mean? I've written for people. I've helped people pick their melodies. All type of stuff. So yeah. Well, I mean that sounds good, but well, my question is, what is your strength? That that R and B period. So I guess. Your strength is that you're the best at everything. Um, I would say I'm the like, best. Let's say, let's I would say, say I'm one of the best for sure, though. Yeah, let's say like um, a basketball player. One, their strength might be shooting or dribbling. Right. I mean, they're still gonna be well rounded. My, as, as we know, you are. But what would your strength be? My vocal range. Vocal range. The vocal range for sure. So being able to hit the high notes, the yeah. lows, the in betweens, and all that. Okay. Yeah, definitely. And like you said, you do write. Uh, your own music. Yeah, all all of my stuff, as far as my catalog goes, I've written ninety nine percent of it all. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that because even my first album, um, there was a song called How Good, where the hook wasn't like that until Stalin stepped in and was like, you should take part of your first verse and put it on the hook and then add these two lines type of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, right. so you know, shout out to him. But so, so rather than seeing that as you're not writing. I see it as a positive because it seems like yeah. you're open to direction. Right? Definitely. Because a lot of these hits that we hear on the radio and some of our favorite songs, those get made in a group of people. And so you got like five or six heads coming together saying, put this over here, turn that, flip that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the fact that you're open minded, I see that as a strength as well. So uh, 99% of everything being written by you is cool, but that 1%, that could be the difference between having Definitely. a good song or a hit record. So I think that's cool. Yeah, I, I know people right now. Um, like people I'm still meeting that actually played that first album and they have favorites on that album and that song is actually one of their favorites. So like that's what's crazy, man. You just never know. Honestly. Okay. 